Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome to QuickBurt Games, where we cover all the latest in the LEGO video game series created by TT Games. This time we got a bit of a different video, so this time we're going to be talking about LEGO Lord of the Rings and LEGO The Hobbit, those two games, because we've got some recent news about those games. So, if you don't know, back in January 1st, 2019, so about a year and a half ago from now almost, the those games actually got delisted from all the stores, so I guess what happened was WB Games slash TT Games lost the rights to those games, so basically they weren't allowed to s sell those games anymore, like they don't have the Lord of the Rings license, so they can't sell the games, so they had to remove those from Steam, they had to remove them from Xbox Live, PlayStation Network, so you can't download those games or their DLC anymore. So they had to take all that down, and uh, if you owned the games before that, if you, like if you had bought them, downloaded them before, they took them down, then you're fine, you don't lose anything, it doesn't affect you at all, you can even re-download the games if you delete them. So it doesn't affect you at all, but it just basically prevents any new people from potentially downloading the games. And it also doesn't affect physical copies, so if you buy the game physically off eBay or something now, you can still play it. And it didn't affect you there. What it does affect is the DLC, because if you buy a physical copy, you still can't get the DLC if you never got it before. Which kind of stunk, that was the situation with me. But recently, the reason I'm making this video is these games have actually popped back up for sale. So it seems that behind the scenes, WB Games has re-licensed the Lord of the Rings franchise and they're able to sell these games again because about a few weeks ago, the game popped back up on Steam. So if you don't know what Steam is, it's the place where you buy games on PC and you can buy DLC for games and everything like that. It's basically the PC's version of like the Xbox Live Store or the PlayStation Network Store. And the games, both Lord of the Rings and The Hobbit and all their DLCs popped back up on Steam, so you could download it again. I think they were like $20 each. So that was kind of uh, suspicious or weird. So after that happened, I ended up contacting TT Games about that and WB Games. And I contacted them through their support channels on Twitter, and they responded to me like they had no idea what I was talking about, which is <laughs> really bizarre. So WB Games, you know, as much as I love the LEGO games and everything, they seem to be out of touch, at least on their social media. Like they didn't, they haven't announced anything about the Lego Star Wars release date at the time of me, uh, you know, recording this video. We had the October 20th thing. They haven't said anything about that, and uh, you know, they just seem to be a little bit out of touch with the news because they haven't really even announced this whole news with the games popping back up now that I'm about to talk about. So it's pretty crazy. So I contacted them about the games popping back up, popping back up on Steam, and like asked them kind of what's going on. If they, are the games going to pop back up on Xbox and PlayStation as well? And they basically said they don't have knowledge of this. Like, they were like, yeah, we see that the game's back up on Steam, but we don't have knowledge of the game coming to other platforms. Which is complete nonsense, because now the games have popped up onto other platforms, I was about to tell you. So, about a week or so after that, the game LEGO The Hobbit plus the DLC popped back up on the U US PlayStation Store. And then, I think a few days after that, it popped up on the European PlayStation Store. And then about a week or so after that, both The Hobbit and all its DLC popped back up on the Xbox One store. So basically The Hobbit and its DLCs have been restored on the consoles, and then Lord of the Rings and The Hobbit have been restored on uh, Steam on PC. And unfortunately, the game Lord of the Rings has not been restored on consoles. So if you don't know, Lord of the Rings is an older game. It came out in 2012, so it came out before all the consoles that we have now, like Xbox One and PS4. It was back on Xbox 360 and PS3. And uh, those online stores, I don't think, get updated anymore. I'm not even sure if they're able to get updated. So, like, new content is not being added to the Xbox 360 Marketplace, the PlayStation 3 store. So, the Lord of the Rings has not been returned onto there like it used to be. So, I'm not sure if they're going to re-release those games now, like, on the next-gen consoles or the current-gen consoles. Like, possibly they could come out with a bundle that includes Lord of the Rings and LEGO The Hobbit together. And they could release that as, like, a new game or collection. Uh, very similar, I'm kind of thinking to what they did with LEGO Harry Potter back in like 2016, 2017. We got LEGO Harry Potter 1 and 2 collected into one game on the current consoles, kind of remastered and with the visuals upgraded a little bit. There's no new content there, but they just kind of put everything together for the new systems. So I'm not sure if they're going to do that with LEGO Lord of the Rings, if they're planning to do that, now that they got the license back, supposedly. They could very easily, uh, you know, package Lord of the Rings and the Hobbit together for the new consoles or even the next-gen consoles. I'm not really sure what's going on there. Uh, but uh, yeah, if you if you still want Lord of the Rings though, if they don't end up remastering or recollecting these games together, uh, Lord of the Rings on console you can still get it on eBay. You can get the disc, and I think someone on eBay is even selling the DLC. So it's not really a trouble to get that game like it was for The Hobbit, because The Hobbit the DLC was completely gone for that game, and I was never able to get it in time. But now it's popped back up, and I was able to get it. So if you're ever wanting to play Lego The Hobbit and its DLC, that game has popped up on all the stores, and then you can still play Lego Lord of the Rings if you get it on eBay and things like that. 
So very interesting. Hopefully we'll get some remastered collection coming here soon now that they have the license back. And another possibility is we could be getting a totally new Lord of the Rings game here after Skywalker Saga, maybe in 2021 or 2022. I'm um, thinking they might do Indiana Jones next, but you know what? They could do uh, a new Lord of the Rings game as well. They could just come out with a new collection similar to what they're doing with Skywalker Saga with all the Star Wars movies. Maybe they just come out with a brand new game, remake of the original Lord of the Rings games, and they... Uh, make a game with, that has The Hobbit and Lord of the Rings, all the movies, all three Hobbit movies, all three Lord of the Rings movies together in just one big game. And I think that would be pretty cool. That would be a pretty cool game if they did that. And it makes perfect sense now that they have the license back to sell these games. So I'm not really sure if they're planning to do that or not because one of the big complaints with the Lego The Hobbit as it stands right now is it only includes the first two movies. Like I think the game came out like a few months before the third Hobbit movie, Battle of the Five Armies, came out. And I guess maybe WB Games announced that there's going to be a DLC for the Battle of the Five Armies for LEGO The Hobbit game, but that never ended up happening. Like a year later, they are like, no, that's not happening. We're not coming out with any new content for the game. So I'm not really sure. I haven't really verified that because, you know, back in 2014 when LEGO The Hobbit came out, LEGO games really didn't have that much DLC. Like the, the DLC for LEGO The Hobbit and all the games before that were just like character packs. Like they were like two or three dollars and you get some extra characters for the game. This was before they were doing the big DLCs, like they started doing with LEGO Batman 3. They created DLCs like a season pass and there was like extra levels that you got as DLC. And the, the DLC got a lot more significant back then. But for LEGO The Hobbit, the, the DLC was not that big of a deal. Like they just created like characters in those days. So it seems to me kind of weird that they would have announced that a whole Battle of the Five Armies, like the whole third movie was going to be DLC when the DLC at that time was not very big. So I'm not totally sure if that's correct, but yeah, anyway, a lot of people were disappointed that the third movie was not included in the game, so I think if they were to remake these games, in, including all the LEGO Lord of the Rings and all the Hobbit movies, they would definitely include the third movie. And if they did just do like a remaster of collecting the first two games as they were before, just on current gen consoles, I don't see them adding the third movie in that situation because I don't think they're just going to add new content to a game that's like six years old at this point. I don't think that would make sense at all. If they're ever going to do the third Hobbit movie, they're going to just completely remake the games altogether, I feel like. So yeah, overall I just want to make this video really fast, announcing that LEGO The Hobbit and all of its DLCs are back available on the current gen consoles for sale digitally, so you can buy those if you missed it before, and Lord of the Rings and The Hobbit and its DLCs are available on Steam right now, so it's very cool. Uh, unfortunately, WB Games and TT Games, they haven't announced this at all on any of their social media channels or anything, they haven't talked about it, and again, like I said, I contacted them on Twitter about it, and they seem to have no idea what I was even talking about, they said they, quote, don't have knowledge, so it's very weird. But uh, you can buy the games again. They seem to have gotten the license back, <laughs> apparently. I guess they have. And uh, yeah, I just want to make a video announcing that. So be sure to subscribe to be notified right when the newest videos come out. We're going to make all sorts of videos about Skywalker Saga when that game comes out. And of course, we're covering all the other news, like this news that we just randomly got about Lord of the Rings. We'll be covering things like that. So subscribe if you're interested in the LEGO video games at all. Uh, like this video if you enjoyed it. If you didn't know that these games had returned, if you had missed these games before, let me know. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next time.